Hello, this is Mike Rinaldi from Life in China. Today, I bring you more value about living in China as a foreigner in 2023, so stay tuned. In my last video, I talked about living in China as a foreigner in 2023. If you haven't watched that video, click on the link somewhere, go watch that video so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And as we all know that China has made a lot of changes in the past few years. I'm going to talk about in the past few months and even the past few weeks. If you are an international student learning in China or if you are working in China as an expat, if you are just traveling or if you are planning to move back to China, things have really changed. And I think I'm going to mention a lot of that in this video. So stay tuned to the end so that you don't miss any relevant point. Let's get into it. Now, over the past few weeks, one of the first things that have really changed in China a lot that a foreigner like me, I, f I find it so like amazing, you know, things that uh, we haven't experienced over the past three years since after the COVID is that uh, right now there is no more like COVID tests going on in China as it used to be. If you have lived in China for the past few years, you would know that this is something that was so traumatic, you know, for foreigners especially because we're not used to that. We like some uh, freedom. We, we, we like to like do things our own our own way and all of that so over the past few weeks there is no more like tests going on you know uh, no more that no no one bothers you you just uh, live your life normally and I think this has really been too great you know and I love it another thing that has changed a lot in China over the past few weeks I'm talking about from after the Chinese New Year is that People are no longer wearing face masks as it used to be. And not only that, right now, like wearing face masks is, is not a rule, it's not a law, you know, it's not like something that someone tells you that you are breaking the law because you're not wearing a face mask, you know, and all of that. So right now it is more of like personal safety. You know, if you feel like you want to wear on a face mask, it's going to be like by choice, but no one's going to ask you to wear face masks, even in public, even in some uh, public places and all of that. The last flight I took from uh, Belgium coming back to China from Beijing, I wasn't even wearing a face mask. And when I go to the airplane, I realized that most of the people, like almost nobody cared, you know, like wearing face masks. And I was a bit skeptical at the beginning. I didn't know if this is for real, you know, but later on I saw, well, it's it's all like liberty like liberty city and things like that so this is something that has been very great especially like uh after the covid thing that life has been so like hectic and traumatic and all of that but right now there is no more such policies another thing that has changed over the past few weeks for the better i could even say for the best you know is that right now china's no more quarantining like people uh, for COVID stuff, you know, or uh, some symptoms and all of that fever and, and stuff. So I think this is something that has really changed and which is like super good. I was browsing on some Facebook groups uh, some few days ago and I heard some people talking about it, like China still keeping up these policies and still going on. I would say that maybe it's not true. Uh, I don't know. I can't say like 100% because like every city has some, uh, some small differences, but I think that generally this is no more going on in China. I had COVID and I wasn't quarantined, you know, I just stayed at home. I took care of myself. I took some medications and after like two, three weeks, I got better, you know, no one quarantined me. I was, I was like, damn this is it never happened you know i wasn't expecting something like that so i can actually attest to it that things have really changed and life is life is getting back to normal another thing that has changed a lot in china and affects foreigners living here is that if you are like traveling out of china there is that possibility of coming back to the country without lots of hassles i'm going to talk about uh, as a matter of experience, because the last time I traveled back to Cameroon, I think that was like, uh, that was last month. So before traveling, I was a bit skeptical if, what if like coming back, um, I'm not given access to come back to China. What would I do in my job? You know, all of that. So I had to call the immigration officer and I was told that, well, you don't have no problems. The only thing you have to care about is your residence permit 
if your residence permit is still valid, you're gonna no problems. You could just travel back to the country and uh, pretty smoothly. I was more worried about that actually because I have also watched, like seen people talk about it in some Facebook groups. So I had a lot of worries if it's possible, if it really happens. So I stayed back in Cameroon for like, uh, I think it was like a month that was during Chinese New Year. And when I got back to Beijing, I had no worries actually, like nobody, nobody like, uh, ask lots of questions, you know, the the whole process was pretty fast and smooth. The only thing I was asked for was my uh, COVID test I did back home. So I had to show that and it was like, all right, sir, please keep going, keep going. I was like, okay, <laughs> fine, this is, this is cool, you know, this is amazing. I wasn't expecting something like that. So this is something that has changed in China a lot. For me, I'm gonna say that right now, China's still one of the most, or one of the best countries to live in. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's uh, the rules, the culture, the policies, the food, the jobs, uh, studying and all of that. So, well, I think it all depends, you know, although there are like pretty nice places to live, but that's all gonna depend on your personal preferences, like what you think, your personal point of view, you know, uh, if you ask me, I don't know how many more years I'm going to live in China, but well, just looking at how it goes, I think that probably I'm still going to hang on here for a couple more years, you know, and that's it. So thank you for watching, guys. If this is your first time watching my videos, make sure to comment below what are your thoughts living in China? What do you think about life in China? And make sure to subscribe because each week I post content very similar to this one. I would personally send you a notification. So. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.